Welcome to this master's open day. We are just now in Prague, the Faculty of Informatics and Statistics, which is part of the Prague University of Economics and Business. I am Veronika Brunerová. I am coordinator of this master's and you will be in touch with me in case you will apply to our programs. And what happened today? So first of all, I will introduce you the programs in general. Uh, we will speak about how to apply to the programs, why you choose Prague for your studying, uh, also um, how to fill in the application form, for example, what are the costs of living, and such information will be shared. This first part will take approximately 15 minutes. And afterwards, our two current students will come to the studio and they are prepared to answer your questions. So in the second part, both programs will be introduced a bit more deeply. First, we will speak about the program information system management and then about the program economic data analysis. So the chat is open, use the opportunity, send us questions and they will be answered in 15 minutes just here in the studio. And we can start. So maybe first of all, just really some general information about the program. So we offer two master programs to full in English is the program information system management and economic data analysis. Both program are full-time program. That means they will be taught offline here at the campus. So you can really enjoy again teaching in person at the campus. There will be no online teaching that can be really hopefully uh, promised by my side. Uh, the programs are scheduled for two semesters. Uh, the winter semester starts always in September and is till mid-December and then there are two months uh, exam period. And the summer semester starts in mid-February and is till uh, beginning of May and then again are uh, the exam period. The next semester, the, the next academic year will start on September 19. However, in case you will be admitted to our programs, you have to come to Prague even one week earlier, around September 10, because the week before we will prepare here for you many presentations. We will share you the information about real living in Prague, about the university, also about the study rules. So if you will be admitted to the program, you will already come here to Prague really at the beginning of September. Uh, the programs are for 120 ECTS credits. As I already said, they are for first semester. That means usually students take approximately, approximately 30 credits per each semester. Uh, but during the first academic year, you can take a little bit more to have a little bit more time for finishing of your thesis and maybe also for a part-time job during the second academic year. But really, how you will structure your studies, it depends on you, uh, on your needs. Uh, and really on you what you would prefer. Uh, the, um, the tuition fee is 3,800 uh, euros per academic year. Usually students pay the fee uh, twice per uh, academic year, that's mean before the start of each semester. The first payment in um, uh, 1,900 euro has to be paid uh, before September 1st. And the second installment in amount of 1,900 euro has to be paid then uh, before the start of the summer semester, that's mean in mid-February. Uh, and the last information, we have two application rounds. The first round is already over. It was uh, February 28th and the first round was really for students from non-European countries. So that was really especially meant for students from India, African countries, because uh, there is not really easy to get the visa and even the appointment at the Ching Embassy. So uh, such students could apply already earlier. But if you are from Europe, if you are, from, for example, from America or Canada or some other, for example, from Turkey, uh, you can still apply. The second application deadline is by April 30. And again, I would like to remind you, the chat is open, send us questions. If you have any questions regarding the studies, send it and it will be answered just in a minute. So, and we will go further. Maybe now you would be asking, why should I really choose Prague as my study destination? Um, maybe there are, I will have six very important reasons for you. One of them is that uh, Prague is really a beautiful city with a long history. Uh, another reason is that there are many pubs and restaurants, uh, clubs, so you will be never bored here. Uh, Prague is also a very green capital city, so if you like to go jogging or walk, 
uh, you will have really a big choice of possibilities. And the Czech Republic belongs also to the safest countries worldwide, so uh, you don't have to be really afraid here. And another reason could be we are located in the Central Europe, so if you would like to get now also some other countries or cities nearby, you can just get the, the nearest plane and land in one hour in Paris or take the nearest train and be in four hours in Munich or in Berlin or in Vienna, for example. And maybe the really most important reason is that there is really a low unemployment rate in the Czech Republic. Usually our graduates have really no problem to get uh, a job even before the graduation. And we have almost really a uh, completely 100% uh, employment rate of our graduates. So, and uh, what about our campus? Our campus is located in the center of Prague. Just, um, you need just five minutes to get uh, to the main railway station of Prague. There is also the uh, nearest metro stations. And if you would like to walk really to downtown, so just in 15 minutes, you can reach the Wenceslav Square or the, um, the Old Town Square. And uh, in the campus, we have many nice computer clubs and classrooms, big lecture halls. Here are also uh, four canteens and restaurants and two coffee bars. And the university have also its own sport facility. And now I would like ask my colleagues to show you a short video where Prague and the campus will be introduced. Welcome back to the studio and now we will speak about the dormitories. We have really good news for you. We can really guarantee a space in the dormitories for all international students. Our students live in dormitories in Europe. It's about 15 minutes far away by tram from the campus and they are really living our international students. Students uh, who are here on exchange mobility or students who are enrolled in English TOEFL programs. So it will make your life in Prague after coming here a bit easier because you, it will be really easy for you to find their new friends. Uh, usually our students live in uh, double bedrooms. They are usually units uh, with two or three double bedrooms with a shared kitchen and a bathroom. Uh, unfortunately, there is really only a limited number of single rooms, so that can be guaranteed to you. But uh, otherwise the rooms have been really renovated newly, so they are really very comfortable. And the price isn't bad also. Uh, usually you need about 200, months, uh, 200 euros monthly to live there. And what about other costs of living? Besides of the fee for dormitories, you will need also about 200 euro monthly for the food. Of course, it depends on your needs and of your habits. You will also need some uh, money for entertainment in Prague, for the health insurance, or for also for the Prague transportation card. Uh, so together, you should have approximately 2,500 euros per semester to survive in Prague, plus, of course, the tuition fee. And now a few words about visa. As I already said, this application round, so the application deadline by April 30, is meant especially for students who don't need visa at all. However, if you are, for example, from America or Canada or Turkey or some other countries where to get the appointment at the Czech Embassy is usually fast, you can, of course, still apply. Uh, you will get the appointment at the Embassy just if you will just call there and ask for that. Uh, usually that's really not a problem in such countries. Uh, and after you will be admitted to the program, you will receive from our side two documents needed for the visa application. 
is the proof of studies and also a proof of accommodation. You will also need a travel uh, passport, of course, uh, fill in an application form. And also you will be asked to care for a proof of finance and usually also a police record is needed. These two documents have to be officially translated to the Czech language and by a police record usually also some verification by a higher authority in the given country is required. But the details can be always found at the web page of the given Czech embassies. So that have been visa and I would like to remind you once more again Use the opportunity to send us questions. They will be answered just in five minutes here in the studio by our first guest, uh, if you will ask on the ISM program. And now I will ask my colleagues to show you a video where our alumnus, alumnus of our faculty, will explain you why he have chosen uh, his masters for studying and also what was his career path after graduation. One of the best things about studying at VSC was that the administration was really professional and the courses were really interesting and challenging. The professors were also really good and always looking out for you to do your best and help you out. And that was really nice. Another great benefit about studying at VSC was the master's exchange semester. VSC offers you to go to various universities around the world and I picked to go to Florence and Italy. Another thing that's great with VSC is that they offer dormitories in Prague. That way you get the chance to meet a lot of new people, to network, and also really enjoy your student life in Prague. After I graduated my master's degree at VSC, I have been working both in Prague and in my home country, Sweden. When it comes to Prague, the labor market is very strong and all the companies are basically fighting for these good students. The companies know that VSC is a good university with a high level of education. So overall, I would say that it's very easy to find a good job in Prague after your master's degree at VSC. When it comes to Sweden, the labor market is tougher, but the companies did see my master's degree from abroad as a big benefit. In many cases, they were saying that that was the main reason that I got called for the interviews, that it made me stand out from the crowd of the different applicants. Overall, it was somewhat easy for me to find jobs in Sweden as well, and I've been working as a senior accountant and as a financial controller. To summarize it, I would say that a master's degree from BSc gives you great opportunities to work both in Prague but also internationally, and I think that's a great benefit. Okay, and the last thing what I have to explain is the application procedure itself. As I said, the applications are open till April 30, so you have still a little bit more than one month to apply. And what is necessary to do? There is an online application form which has to be filled in. I don't think it's really like, uh, complicated to do so, but you can also find a guideline at our webpage. Uh, there is an application fee which has to be paid by April 30 also, that's really required. And there are a few documents which you have to upload electron uh, electronically to the online application form. First, uh, your proof of English. It can be either some confirmation that you studied your previous uh, bachelor degrees full in English, or it should be some international recognized English certificate. For example, TEFL uh, at point, this points at least 78, or for example, IELTS with six points or more. Then you will also need to upload your uh, CV. It should be a structured CV on one or two pages. Please don't forget to mention there uh, what are your special knowledge and maybe job experience related really to the program you would like to study. And for the ISM program, for the program information system management, you also have to upload your motivation letter. So again, they describe why you have chosen this program, what you expect from that, and maybe also what are your uh, career or education experience in this field. And the EDA applicants, uh, applicants for the program economic data analysis, have to upload one recommendation letter. It can be either written by one of the teachers during your bachelor studies, or for example, from the supervisor of your bachelor thesis, or if, if you are just working, it can be also from the company you are working for. 
And that's almost all, except of the most important part, which is the entrance exam, the admission exam. Everybody who is applying at any program at VSE has to go through the admission exam. We don't accept really everybody. The usual intake rate is about 50%. And we really accept the students who upload the best application documents and set us the best admission essays. On Friday, May 6th in the morning and at uh, nine, at eight in the morning, you will receive topics and instruction for the admission essay and will be asked to upload the essay till Sunday, uh, May 8th, uh, midnight. And some uh, useful tips and recommendations how to structure the essay can be found at our page. So don't hesitate to look there. There are really many useful information. Also, for example, information how to cite sources regularly, because all essays will be checked by uh, anti-plagiarism software. And another important thing is that everybody before start of the studies has to prove us that they really have finished the bachelor degree. It's just a legal requirement. Uh, it has to be done before a start of study, that means at the end of August at latest. And if you study in the Czech Republic, then you will just send us a hard copy of your diploma, an official verified copy. If you study abroad, if you study in another country, you will just send us an um, official verified copy of the diploma and transcript of records. If this, those documents are not issued in English or in Czech, it has to be official translated. And that's almost all, then it's just only one contact form to fill and that's, that's done. So, don't forget to apply till April 30. And now we are going to the second part. Uh, we will now speak about the program Information System Management and just really in a few minutes I will hear my first cast. Good afternoon, welcome to the Prague University of Economics and Business. I am Veronika Brunerová, the Program Coordinator of Information System Management. And I am Vlasta Svatá, the Academic Head of the Program. Information technologies are the keystones of the business nowadays. They play an important role not only in big firms, but in all companies, at schools and in our private life too. The current epidemic situation only highlighted this phenomenon. We need IT application and IT systems even more than before. Surely, Veronica, but the experience in many organizations shows that the main problem in the use of information technology is not its acquisition, implementation and operation, but the realization of the benefits from their use. This difficult task proves impossible without close cooperation between people from IT and business. This program offers you a unique university to combine computer skills with managerial skills and thus to help organizations to bridge the gap between IT and business. The first year of studies includes compulsory courses, each semester for 30 credits. They are taught in three days per week, so you can easily combine studies with a part-time job. The second year involves mostly optional courses, or you can spend the third semester abroad at one of our partner universities. The program has been repeatedly ranked as one of the best programs in this field in Eastern and Central Europe. The courses are taught by experienced teachers and experts from business. Students engage in useful projects with real impact. And what are your prospects after graduation? Prague is not only a beautiful city in Central Europe, it offers many job opportunities in IT. The target roles of our graduates are a project manager, an information system auditor, a chief risk officer, a head of software development, a chief information officer and many more. By the way, 90% of our graduates get a regular job during their studies. Start thinking about your career, master your own future. We'll be excited to welcome you as our students.
Welcome back in the studio. And we are now speaking about the program information system management. And I have my first guest here in the studio. It's Chelson. He is the student of this program and he is now in his final in the last semester, in the fourth semester. So use the opportunity and send him a question, anything regarding the study program, regarding studying in Prague, also regarding the application procedure. So hi Chelson. Hello, thank you for inviting me here. Good. Uh, Shelton, why did you choose Prague as your study destination? Well, I have been here in Prague before and I really like the Prague as a city. It's a very beautiful city. I like the culture here. And mainly I chose Prague because of the job opportunities that Prague offers. Yeah, great. And why did you choose the ISM program particularly? Uh, in the future, I want to pursue project management profession and ISM had all the courses which uh, offer me knowledge to pursue this profession. That's why I chose this program. Mm -hmm. uh, is this program dedicated only to students who have some previous knowledge in uh, programming or management? Is there something required? Uh, not really, I would say in my class, for example, we have people that uh, are not in this background and they're doing pretty well. Of course, having experience on programming or project management it will be fine, but it's not required. Mm -hmm. I would maybe just like only to add that really some basic, at least in data governments or really in, in the very basics and also in Excel is of course required. But we have really in the program many students who, for example, study business yeah. administration. So if you are at least interested in the IT field, they have definitely um, possibility to apply and chance to pass the admission exam, isn't there? Yeah, that's correct. <laughs> if you have this uh, experience or you have experience with these uh, courses, it's helpful. But as I said, you can learn everything here. Uh, every uh, course is uh, like, uh, it's, uh, it's created in that way that it can uh, fill all the gaps of the knowledge that you might have. And therefore, I think that it's not required to have, but of course, if you have, it's good. Uh -huh, great, thank you. Yeah. And are there some programming courses in the ISM study plan? Uh, in the mandatory courses, there is no uh, programming uh, courses, but uh, there are courses which uh, you can choose in the second semester, which are elective, and there are some programming uh, courses like uh, Python, R, and non-SQL database. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Really, in the ISM program, there is a big group of elective courses, in fact, I think 42 credits. So you can really choose many of them uh, regarding according to your needs and interests. Uh, you are just now in the last semester, so you are really now in the situation that you can really evaluate the program. So what do you really appreciate on the study program? Uh, I would appreciate all the knowledge because, as I said, the whole program is like a, it's like a puzzle and all the courses are the pieces of this puzzle and if you are in the IT field all the courses are necessary and are very beneficial for your knowledge in every profession like I don't know project manager something related to audit uh, data scientists uh, software engineering etc mm -hmm, yeah exactly thank you and what courses do you personally liked at most? Uh, you, as I mentioned, you are really at the end of study, so you can probably really evaluate that. Yeah. So in general, I actually really liked all the courses, but I was more interested in project management because, as I said, that's the future profession that I want to pursue, and that was what I liked most. Mm -hmm. And you will just very soon submit your thesis yes, with your correct. supervisor. <laughs> Oh, it's the professor of project management courses. Uh, okay, so. I saw so. Great. So you like the course a lot? <laughs> yeah. Good, great. Good. Uh, many of our students, of the ISM students, are working while studying. Is that also your co case? Do you have a yes, work? Yes, that's correct. Uh, I have a work. I've been working since last year because I took most of the credits last year. And I'll say that most of my classmates are working as well in a very good companies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So it's possible to work, but I would recommend to everybody to work just only part time during the studies. Shelton is an exception because he's just our best student, so he can just even allow him to work uh, full time. But as I said, really, the program will allow you to work part time and, if possible, maybe from the second academic year, isn't that? Yeah, that's maybe correct. Maybe or the end of the second semester. Yeah, it's a bit hard, but it's possible to do it both. 
Mm -hmm. So it's complicated to combine both studying and, and job? Uh, if you are working part-time, I would say that it's so much complicated, but I'm working full-time and for me it was a bit hard to do the time management, but it's possible, of course, but you'll get exhausted. <laughs> Yeah, and maybe I would just like to add that the courses are scheduled for three working days within the week, usually Monday to Wednesday. So Thursday, Fridays, you will have usually off uh, for other activities, for doing homeworks or even for part-time jobs. But be prepared, studying is not only about visiting of the courses, but also about doing projects and, and some essays, isn't that? Yes, that's correct. You'll have a lot of teamwork, uh, projects and essays, of course. <laughs> Great. How difficult was the admission exam? Uh, for me, it was not much difficult because I prepared in advance, like uh, in my home country we do essay like a page and a half, but I saw some videos how to prepare a good essay, uh, then I saw some other journal articles how to go through a topic and uh, I also would suggest, since we're speaking about it, to watch some videos regarding to plagiarism. Plagiarism it's very important and as well how to add the references because they are important as well mm -hmm. so thank you very much for this useful tips uh, and you can some tips you can also find at our web page so before you will write the essay definitely look at the web page and they are for example tips how to structure the essay how to cite regular as, as Shelton yes, mentioned correct. yes what are your plans for your future career will you stay in Prague after the graduation or will you move back uh, so my future uh, plans, I'll stay here in Prague and I plan next year to start my PhD at the same university and as well to work here. I am working right now as a software engineering and I'm switching slowly to project management so I'll be still in Prague for at least, I don't know, five years. Yeah, yeah. thank you. And again, Shelson is really a good student and the best one we have in the group. But the good students can really continue with PhD studies at our university or at other European universities or some worldwide universities, because of course this master degree will allow it to you. And for the graduates who would like to stay in Prague and work here, you will get first a visa for graduates, which will just allow you to stay here nine months after the graduation to be able to find a job and that then to get the employee card. Yeah, great, exactly. Thank you very much uh, for being here. Thank it was really very well. nice it to have you pleasure. here. Yeah. And if you would have some other questions on Shelson, Shelson will be still in the room next to the studio and he will be able to answer your questions in the chat. So use chat and Shelson can just answer it uh, there. Thank you very much. And Thank now you. we will well. speak about the second program, about the program Economic Data Analysis. Welcome to the Prague University of Economics and Business. My name is Jakub Fischer. I serve as the Dean of the Faculty of Informatics and Statistics and the academic head of the master's program Economic Data Analysis. John Lennon said, all you need is love. Allow me to paraphrase his words by saying, all you need is data, especially in business today. And those who understand and analyze data are the most valuable in the job market. If you are looking for a degree that guarantees you a high starting salary and abundance of job opportunities, you are in the right place. I am convinced that the best 5 to 10 percent of graduates from any study program at any university land a superior job in the job market compared to students with below average results. However, Studying a highly demanded field can disprove this rule. I believe that EDA program belongs among such programs. Why? We will teach you to acquire, disseminate and analyze data. You will learn to recognize the most important segments in a big data set, to use statistical and econometric modeling, to describe and visualize data, and finally to forecast and predict. You will work with specialized statistical and econometric software in your classes and meet experts from businesses and government institutions. Our expert and teacher team includes, for example, the former Prime Minister of the Czech Republic and the current Vice President of the Czech Statistical Office. The Economic Data Analysis Program involves two specializations, official statistics and data analysis and modeling. You will choose your specialization during the first semester. 
The official statistics specialization is accredited with the European Master in Official Statistics, EMOS International Label, awarded by the European Statistical System Committee. That means that students receive two diplomas upon their graduation, the one issued by our university and the other labeled as the EMOS degree. A two months internship is an obligatory part of the MOS specialization. We offer you an interesting study program with truly international environment. Our students are from more than 15 countries. You can also take part in the Erasmus program and spend a semester abroad at one of the partner universities. Most of our students work during their study. We promise that we prepare you to start an exciting career after your graduation in Prague or in the EU. Master your own future and apply to the EDA program. Welcome back to our studio and we are just now speaking about the program Economic Data Analysis. Use the opportunity and write us questions on chat because I have here my second guest, it's Paulina. She's the student of the program Economic Data Analysis. She's from Poland and she's currently in the second semester. So she's just now here to answer your questions regarding this program. Hi Paulina. Hi, thank you. <laughs> uh, my first question would be, why have you chosen the program Economic Data Analyzing for studying? I find it a uh, really interesting studies and also nowadays it's a high demand on the labor market for data analysts. Also, it's opening a lot of doors for different career perspectives, like we can work in marketing, in consulting, but also like in government constitutions or banks, so it's quite a big choice. Yeah, great. And how do you like the program just now? I like it. It's like uh, it's giving us a deep theoretical background from the statistical field, but also we have more practical courses that are preparing us for the future career. So, yeah, thank you. Uh, and in the program Economic Data Analysis, there are two specializations, Data Analysis and Modeling and Official Statistics. Which of these specializations did you choose? I chose Data Analysis and Modeling to learn and know how to like build and, pro and work with data, uh, with statistical models. And also it's giving the opportunity to go on the exchange for the semester abroad on the third semester. Mm -hmm. And did you apply for the Erasmus Mobility? Yes, I did apply. I'm still waiting on my results and hopefully I would go next semester. Yeah, thank you. And really, this possibility is in fact valid for students of both programs, the students of the program Information System, System Management and also the students of the program Economic Data Analysis can spend a third semester abroad at one of our partner universities. It can be in Europe or even really overseas in America, Canada or in South uh, uh, um, Africa, we also had students, for example, in Australia. And for this Erasmus Mobility, you will get a scholarship from the university. And what is interesting about the second specialization, about the specialization official statistics? It's giving closer look for like working in government institutions, especially that on the third semester there is an internship. Uh, and over there, like students can get the practical knowledge and also work with experienced people, experts, and have like real cases with government data. 
Mm -hmm. Exactly, and the official statistic specialization is accredited also uh, by international accredited. So the graduates of this specialization will in fact receive two diploma. The diploma issued by our university and then the second one issued and stamped by Eurostat. Uh, great, and what do you think about Prague? Do you like to be here? <laughs> I really like the city. It's uh, one of the cities with the biggest amount of parks, so it's a really green city. Also, the public uh, transportation is really nicely connected, so there is like, a big choice of trams, subway and buses. Um, additionally, additionally to that, it's also a lot of foreign companies, or also like companies, so there is a big choice of uh, work. And it's like located in the central part of Europe, so it's also a great location if someone would like to have, have some travels or so just like mm -hmm. yeah, experience. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. And really many of our international students are mentioning that, that really Prague has a great transportation system and that's right. And she also has spoken about uh, jobs. Do you have a job? Yes, I'm working actually since first semester on the part-time position. Of course, it required some uh, getting used to new schedule and to good time management from my side, but it's possible. Of course, it's not always easy, especially during exam period <laughs> when there is a lot of <laughs> learning. But in general, I'm doing this. I have also some colleagues that uh, also started st working since first semester and they are managing. So, mm -hmm. and also here the program economic data analysis is just uh, the valid the same like for the program information system management. The courses are usually taught within three working days in the week, so usually from Monday to Wednesday. So if you will find a part-time job, uh, you will have time on Thursday or on Fridays for working activities, or if you will not work, then for preparing some homeworks and and doing on projects, for example. And we receive now a questions from YouTube from chat. Thank you for these questions. Please, how is the student accommodation at, at the school like? So can you just maybe share your own experience with the accommodation? Mm -hmm. I'm living in the dormitory. Uh, it's actually pretty nice because it's freshly after renovation. Uh, there are many buildings. It's not only like one dormitory for this university. Uh, Vyshe has few dormitories in different locations in Prague. And I'm satisfied, like the rent is uh, affordable. It's nice for students and also like standards of the renovation, I would say they are really nice. Yeah, thank you. And definitely there are so many international students living, so there will be just very easy for you to make new friends, isn't there? Good. Uh, you are just now already in the second semester, that means you already passed many of the elective courses or you just have them. So what course do you think um, is the useful, is the most useful in perspective of the labor market? Uh, I think the practical one with like uh, com uh, computer like programs. So on the first semester we have we had introduction to R. So R is like a useful uh, analytical tool that is uh, used by many companies. Also right now in the second semester we have class that is called real data analysis, when the main focus is on the working with Excel, and then over there we are like working with real data, preparing them for like further analysis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you very much. That was really a nice explanation. And by the way, the R will be really necessary and you will work with that in many classes. So definitely it will be required for you to learn working with programming R. Uh, is the admission exam difficult to pass? Do you have any recommendation for new uh, applicants? It's not difficult, but it's for sure time consuming. I know that it took for me like the whole weekend, the whole given time to actually prepare for, for this. It's important to know how do you want to present your idea and uh, to follow the official structure of the paper. Uh, you can also find the template on the university website, how to like use the correct citation and yeah, to avoid also plagiarism. Yeah, thank you very much. So again, before you will write the admission essay, definitely look at our web page. There will be some useful tips how to prepare yourself. And uh, maybe my last question is, what are your plans for the future after you will finish your studies? Will you stay in Prague or will you move back home or to some, to some other countries? Um, I would like to stay in Prague for a while, but also I have some interest in ex exploring other countries. So I think I would stay in Prague for a few years and then maybe just try something new in other country. Yeah. So. 
Good. That's really a good plan. And definitely, if you will pass our programs, you can either stay in Prague or in Europe, you will have a full access to the job market. And as I, we already mentioned, in Prague, there is really, really low unemployment rate, especially for graduates of those programs. This is really no problem to get a job very quickly. So thank you, Paulina, a lot for being here. It was really a pleasure. And if you would have in future any questions on Paulina or on Shelton, we have a special web page. Uh, it's called Ask Students because our students, our ambassadors, are just really very active. And if you will look at this web page, you can just choose the students you would like to ask according to his or her profile or according to the program he or she is studying. You can ask Shelton or you can choose Paulina and send her or him a question that it will be then answered very quickly. So use it even in future. And of course, uh, the, those students are not only answering the emails. They are also writing a blog. They are also uh, preparing some short videos about living in Prague. Um, so definitely join this web page. Look on that. Uh, we have also social sites. You can follow us on our Facebook, Instagram. Uh, there is also the YouTube channel. And uh, you can also ask me. So you can also uh, uh, send me an email. You, you can contact me on the social sites or my colleagues. And you can also schedule a video call with us. So it's possible twice a week. So don't be afraid and send really uh, the request for a uh, video uh, appointment. And that's almost everything. So I would just like to remind you, the application deadline is by April 30. So you have still more than one month to apply. Uh, we plan to teach you here in person, offline, what's really beneficial. And um, just hopefully we will see us soon here in Prague. Thank you for watching us.